Hello, Monsters of Anger, and welcome to a brand new campaign in Total War, Warhammer 3. He's bald, he's angry, he's neither Grant nor Phil Mitchell. It's Manfred von Karstein. Yes, in the desert, which of course, well known for not having much sun. Fucking brilliant place to set up fucking shop, Manfred, you loony. You crazy bastard. Anyway, so Manfred, of course, starts in the Southlands, which um, is fine i guess obviously this is i, I don't know if manfred is nehekaran because obviously the original vampires were nehekaran right they came from nehekara they were effectively tomb kings before the tomb kings were tomb kings um but whether manfred actually lived in nehekara i don't know obviously vlad was one of the first vampires and from what manfred has said they were together for a long time because there's a there's a sentence in the book where it says Manfred saying um, that he loves Isabella the most but he loved Manfred the longest so whether this is home for Manfred I don't know but he's back back again Manfred's back tell a friend he's going to be got Kevin here that's it Kevin the White King good okay so Manfred does have the books mechanic we can secure the books of Nagash but then Manfred needs a cozy nook to read them in and unfortunately the only co cozy nook he knows is in Drakenhof Castle. So if we want to read them properly, he's going to have to go all the way back home to, to grab Drakenhof Castle off, off Dream Vladdy, who apparently they've had a little bit of a tiff, and things were said. Vlad's got a new bow. Yet it, it's all, it's complicated. It's it's complicated. Anyway, so um, obviously Manfred is a little bit... This is basically a massive tizzy over his ex, isn't it? <sighs> Manfred, you shouldn't have got drunk and called them at three o'clock in the morning it's not the way forward right we're gonna pop kevin in this army kevin is a special character i think he's named after a creative assembly um member who, who actually died um so he's like a special one there he goes because was was that the best someone dies at your company and you turn them into a white king in the gate is that good is that is that good is that tasteful i don't know doesn't matter anyway Ma Manfred, <laughs> it's fine. Manfred, of course, has some new skills. Uh, so he's got Legion of the Dead. He's got Barrow Whites. He's got Sanguinary Experiments and the Von Karstein Acolyte, which gives him Transformation of Kadon and also reduces the cost of magic for Transformation of Kadon. Also gives him Storm of Night, which is fine. That's good. Uh, Manfred does get a Zomble Dragon, which is very, very good. He gets also two Spell Winds, winds of Magic spells. Um, he was he's basically the first and last I ever did this with and I genuinely don't know why he is the only well he's the only character originally I think unless I think it's just mods that do that I think he's genuinely the only character in the fucking game with more than one school of magic for some reason I don't know what what was the what I don't I don't I don't understand why they never did that again very weird very weird because there's a number of characters that could potentially use i mean think kairos right kairos effectively should have access to multiple wind types of magic but they just went nah manfred just manfred fuck knows why doesn't matter i guess doesn't fine whatever um because the the tomb king uh, well, the tomb kings the vampire counts that's it the vampire counts i mean we're playing vampire counts because obviously it's uh it's spoopy time isn't it it's october it's spoopy time the Vampires are spoopy because they like wearing black. Good. Anyway, they've had a bit of a change in that um, the the gibbets and the gallows now provide most of their income. Although you do still get some income from the vampire keep and the necromancer's tower, but it's significantly less than you used to get. Now, I think this is not a bad change because obviously you can only build the necromancer tower and the vampire's keep in capitals. Whereas now you can build the gibbet in every single fucking settlement and that gives you more money. That just seems like a, a better change for me. Because the vampire economy was was very end loaded, because you can only build those those buildings at tier four and five. They're very expensive. So basically, your economy was basically on its knees until you managed to get capitals to tier four and five, which took quite a while. So yeah. Anyway, um, we're going to start off with a balefire brazier. Spread that vampiric corruption, baby. And we're going to get some skeletons, maybe some night, some some night spats. That's they like the knights because they're nocturnal. That's 
that's how bats work. Uh, we're going to get a Lich Yard as well, so we can get a Necromancer, because you got to oh, love Necromancers. They smell a little bit like wee. They're a bit ugly. They're, they're massive nerds, though, and uh, nerds are useful. Also, I've got mods that now increase the number of skills that heroes have. Uh, really good mod. You can find it in the link in the description. Well, not a link, but you can find the name of it in the description, and you can look for it yourself on Steam. I'm, look, I'm not going to lead you to it. You can find it. It's fine. I, 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 it took me about 30 seconds to find it, if that. It's easy. Anyway, so they've got some new skills to spend on. Holy shit, they've got a lot. Fuck, fuck me. Fuck, I guess they need them, to be honest, because um, you often run out of uh, of skill points. So it's like you get two different two different skill trees here. So um, upkeep reduction for Graveguard or upkeep reduction for Black Knights. Um, both called the same thing, but I'm sure that's fine. Um, so basically one tree gives bonuses for Graveguard, the other for Black Knights. And also they've got a lot of skills there to potentially beef them up in combat as well, which is pretty nice. And a Royal Bloodline there, which is going to increase weapon strength for White Kings and Graveguard and Black Knights. So there we go. All, all pretty good there. We start at war with the, the, the bad undead, the Tomb Kings. There's King... Itchy bottom there. We're going to start off by beating up him and taking his stuff. Obviously, first battle of the campaign. It smells like dead people, I guess. Here we go. First battle. A brand new campaign. Don't smell the zombies. They'll smell terrible. We've got Ushapti with great bows. What the fuck? All right, no problem. We massively outnumber these guys. It said Pyrrhic victory. I disagree. I think it's probably not going to be a Pyrrhic victory. I think we're probably going to be fine. But we do need to sort of tie up the Ushabti, who have been trying to shoot Manfred. There he is. There's his angry little bald head, currently bleeding all over the desert there. I mean, if you think about it, arrows are just giant stakes, so he really does have to do a ser Serpentine Manfred. Serpentine! Hide behind this rock. There's Kevin. Good old Kev. Hitting King Itchy Bottom. The Spirit Leech. We've got our Black Knights on this flank. Skeleton Warriors are really no match for them. Ooh. That was... That was explody. Hang on, 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 hang on. Who the fuck is bleeding? We've got skeletons on one side, skeletons on the other. Who the fuck is oozing goo? That's a bit of a fucking giveaway that we've been infiltrated. Skeleton on skeleton combat, oozing red jam. Mm -mm -mm. What the fuck's going on there? Never mind. All right, the doggo's coming in from behind. Wrapping up that little combat. And the Vargeists landing on top of the Ushabti, bringing them down. We catch them with more skeleton warriors. Meanwhile, Manfred is going at the king. Hitting him with the old spirit leech. Taking down generals this early is really hard, actually. The only thing they can really do it is other generals, and that's about it. As you can see both of them going at each other. Actually, um, King Itchy Bottom making everyone everyone's bottom itchy with his curse. The curse of the Itchy Bottom. She's giving everyone damage. However, with the rest of the Tomb King host being destroyed... You know what? I didn't realise they had uh, the Halbards there. No matter. It's not really going to save them. Boop. Habucha. I will... You know what? I'll take the replenishment just to hit... Well, do I want them? Mm, eh, no, I'll take the replenishment. Take the replenishment, and then I'm going to take your house. Wow, you really want to kill my bats? So you know what? I don't really care about bats. It's fine. I'll sacrifice my bats in exchange for not having to pummel uh, a tiny little garrison to death. I'm just going to occupy that one, I think. What do we got here? Ooh, a cursed gemstone mine. Because you can't have a gemstone mine, as the vampire counts, without first cursing it or haunting it or, you know, some bollocks. You can't just have a normal gemstone mine. No, no, it needs to be haunted. It's all about the aesthetics. Oh, a Helm of Discord. Very nice. That's a good first catch. And we are now bordering 
Volkmar, who is no doubt going to be very chill and very level-headed when it comes to dealing with us. I'm going to get the Curse of Neh... Not Curse of Neh... Invocation of Neheg. Think about gem, gem mines and how best to utilise them as the undead. Um, I kind of want to go for this. I'm not... Uh, I'm going to hold off. I might... Income from repression buildings. That's 20%. That's actually pretty legit. So you know what? We're going to do this because repression buildings will be the buildings that we've got. The the gibbets and stuff, um, I'm assuming. I'm assuming those are repression buildings. Repression buildings. That's with 20% extra on the, on the 500 there. I mean, that is not to be sniffed at. Now, does anyone like us nearby? I'm assuming probably not. Oh, the followers of the gash like us. You know what? You know what? I didn't... I don't... I'm not really a hugger, I'm sorry. Just not a hugger. Apologies. Um, right, well, maybe Ark... I was thinking we're probably going to be like, really up against it down here. But actually, defensive supplies in the local legion... Well, I'm going to be a blade master. I'm going to make you deadly blade. I've only got a helmet discord. I've got a grave digger. It's not that useful. Do we have... Any, no, just so I'm tempted to get rid of the Zombles because, let's face it, Zombles, they kind of suck. Um, I'll get some Skellingtons. They seem... Skellingtons are good. Love a Skellington. Um, Zombles, just very slow. I mean, Gorst, obviously, good Zombles. Um, Zombles, probably good in a pinch if you don't literally have nothing else. But otherwise, yeah, probably, probably stay off the Zomble, I would, personally, for me. Um, so we want to obviously get the books of Nagash, a bit of reading material there. Might be a little bit saucy. We could always you know, fold the pages, assuming they don't stick together, that kind of thing. And uh, that will give us certain bonuses if we collect them all. I do have the mod for the victory conditions, which I think is currently in operations. It works on some factions and not on others. Oh, that looks better, doesn't it? it always looks very sort of like stringy, doesn't it? Yeah, good. Okay. Um, so the closest books to us are... The third book, which will mean regions will be hit by a sandstorm after sacking or occupying settlements, where it makes us immune to sandstorm attrition. Casualty replenishment rate is increased after sacking or occupying settlements. Construction cost reduction for buildings. But these bonuses are doubled when we study the tomes within our cosy nook in Castle Drakenhof. But obviously we need to take Castle Drakenhof to do that. We need to destroy Nicolundor, the Blade of Suk... Oh, God, I'm not going to attempt that. Um, this is a meh book, to be honest. Not very good. This one is if we occupy Lemire, this will give the effectiveness of all commandments by 50%. Construction time minus one for all buildings. And the effects are doubled when Manfred studies in his cozy nook. Now, commandments wise, I can't see yet. But I think that's probably going to be quite useful. We are going to want to take out... Now, we are surrounded by people who are going to hate our guts down here, which is a slight problem. Arkan is basically the only person who potentially won't try and murder us. In, you know what? I'm just going to take it. It would probably be more efficient, but it's just such a teeny tiny little... little army to deal with. I just... I don't... Oh, they're dead. Good. Oh, because you, you've taken the plane of Right, we're, we're probably going to want to take Volkmar out first. So what commandments do we have? More control, vampire, okay, that's fine, growth. Do we income for, so we, if we... It's increased by 50%, we could double it to 100%. So that effectively would give us 10% income from all buildings. I mean, that's not bad. It's fine. It's, you, you know, it's all right. And none of these commandments are particularly wow, are they? But um, we'll take what we can get. A bit of extra income, maybe? Yeah, I'll do don't, I don't want any Zombles. Uh, not Zombles, Skellington. I've spent all my money, that's why. Rubbish. Right, being able to... Oh, Van, ha Van Hal's Dance Macabre. Very good. Obviously, getting... I feel like getting the Invocation of the Heck is just a good option, because that is going to, obviously, allow us to heal ourselves. It's just... I just think it's neat. Again, if I wanted to be really efficient, I obviously would have fought those battles, but... I don't think it's a, it's a huge problem, for the most part. I probably should have recruited more Skellingtons. Um, but we will get a Necromancer. I mean, worst case, we'll just recruit a bunch of Skellingtons. We are going to spread our Vampiric Corruption around. These guys might be fairly chill with us, but they'll probably die pretty quickly as well. Oh, look at that. Look at that lovely Vampiric Corruption. 
they they said really early on about how the corruption looks really blocky around the edges, didn't they? And how they were going to fix it. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the game's only been out for um, two years, almost two years. So, I mean, you guess you can't, you know, you can't rush these things. I guess you can't rush these things. Right, what we got? Dread Incarnate. Yeah, well, enemy leadership minus four, not the worst thing. I mean, what does... Co confident is more leadership, but I, I quite like Dark Majesty may not be the worst thing. Otto. Otto, you're in. A wise action. Well, we'll see. We'll you come down here, you're going to come and join us. We sort of build this up. I'm hoping that we're going to be spreading... I guess there's not going to be any much vampiric corruption. Um, aren't you vampires? Shouldn't you have more vampiric corruption? Buildings... What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you building that's reducing... Va also, what are you doing in my lands, you big... Noseless twat? Piss off. Hanging around here. Insulting people with big noses. With your total lack of nose. Or maybe people with big noses upsets you. I don't know. Okay, we've got the blood kiss and more growth. Oh, and we've got access to our first von well, the vampire thingy magic. So we can get raised dead pool capacity for crypt ghouls. Meh. Research rate plus twenty-five percent. Pretty strong. Character experience gain, not bad. Cash replenishment rate, always nice. Or weapon strength for cavalry units. Not bad. I'm tempted to go with the Necratch, but I do really like the Strigoi Vampires. I mean, but, 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 oh, you know what? You know what? This, look, I, I, I just, I just think they're neat. He's not even that good. But we're going to recruit him, and we're going to call him Badly Disguised. Werewolf, wolf, um, the second, if I remember how to do iron. There we go. Perfect. There we go. Right, he's going to join us because the Strigoi vampires are fucking amazing. Best boys. Right, we're going to go and pummel Volkmar, but I want to try and find where Volkmar is first and pummel him because we've got two settlements to defend here and I can't defend them and attack him at the same time. Um, we can probably potentially get some zombies to. I mean, I can use zombies to kind of, you know, protect our front line potentially. I don't think Volkmar will have any artillery yet, but I can't remember what he starts with. I'm fairly sure he just starts with um, flagellants and maybe some knights. I think he starts with those knights, the blazing sun, doesn't he? I don't think he starts with any artillery. I don't think he starts with like a mortar or anything. Numus is down. Holy shit. Dropping like flies. Right, the dwarves probably don't like us. Krokgar won't like us. There's orcs down here, they won't like us. Lizards down there, they won't like us either. I mean, basically, we're... no one's going to really like us very much. Um, never mind. All right, where are you, Volkmar, you bastards? Well, let's just lift your arms, mate. Okay, we'll recruit you, and then how much money do we have? Enough that it's not too much of a problem. You recruit that. That just just get some skeletons for yourself. Proceed. So we need to find Volkmar wherever he is. Who is he at war with anyone? You will taste the righteous retro. No. So he's probably, I'm assuming, in here. Military presence ten. Yes, he's almost certainly in Stud Studenberg. Studenberg. Sudenberg. I don't know why I said. I don't know where the T came from. Studenberg. No, Sudenberg. Clear skies. That's obviously bad for us because we're vampires. Oh, I'm tempted to go for this. I just don't know what Volkmar's gonna do. Okay. Okay. Fuck it. Fuck it. Absolute worst case. 
everyone's already dead, so... Okay, we'll send you in there, in circle. Encircle them there, and then we'll send you in to help. Take a little bit of damage there, because obviously you don't have the... Uh, don't have the, uh, the vampiric corruption, but we're going to fight this one because I don't want to take too much damage. But we've got Badly Disguised Werewolf 2 here because this will be, it's like a little internship. He'll learn from watching us murder the living. I know, like the neck cratch or the Mian vampire, but I, it's, it's just something about the Strigoi vampires. I have fond memories of a badly disguised werewolf, werewolf in my Gorse campaign, just curb stomping Archeon every fucking episode. So, uh, hopefully, a badly disguised werewolf 2 will live up to the name of a badly disguised werewolf. So, this army is not particularly large, but going to fight it because I need to be efficient just in case. Good old handlebar moustache himself decides to come and pay us a visit. It's unlikely, but I just need to be sure. Because I can't remember what kind of stuff he's got or how nasty he's going to be. I think early on he's probably not that bad. He's not really a melee character himself. Manfred, on the other hand, obviously is a bit of a bit of a monster in magic as well as combat. Although a badly disguised werewolf does does have more armor piercing than he does. So he's got 290. Manfred has 170. So a badly disguised werewolf is probably better against characters. And also he's got regeneration. And he can cast a little bit of magic. And generally you can turn him into a um, an absolute absolute monster in, in melee combat, which is uh, pretty nice. So they have a little shooty boy, a huntsman general. Moving our knights in behind. They do have some spearmen there. We're going to be a little bit careful of those. We're going to go hunting for the crossbowmen. We're going to use some of our... We've got plenty of skeletons, so we're going to throw some skeletons against those spearmen. And then we're going to use the black knights to run down the crossbowmen. Ooh, been a rock and a hard place. Goes Kevin, laying into the swordsman. Where's that? Where's that general? Oh, there he is, chased around by by Manfred. Get him, Manfred! Hit him in the head. Take that poncy bow and ram it right up his ass. That's what you want, isn't it? I think, I think he's, uh, he's probably running away. Yeah. I mean, his army's actually holding on. There's a bunch of swordsmen here. They're still fighting. Currently fighting some skeleton warriors. But their missile support is dead. And considering how, we, how much we outnumber them by, it's basically a matter of time. Send Kevin. Charge him in the rear there. And uh, we'll get our cavalry, having annihilated those crossbowmen, to just come in to finish the job. Okay, I am going to occupy this one. Obviously, poor little BDW will take a bit of damage from standing. Or not, because I guess now we own this, so I guess that's fine. Now, I just have to hope that Volkmar heads south rather than decide... Oh, he does have a fucking... I thought... I just think he's suspicion he might do. The ghost of Although, if he goes for Bagar, I can just take Sudenberg, right? So, either way, basically, I'm going to win. 
Just one way is easy, and one way is just a little bit annoying. Um, so we could get more spell resistance for skeletons, but I don't really think that's um, that's that useful. This is... Yeah, we'll go with that one. I mean, it's more melee defense and melee attack for the Graveguard and Black Knights, making them pretty killy. It's not bad. It's not bad. Oh, do we want to go Forgotten? So that's more melee defense and attack for Graveguard. Alternatively... Leadership of melee attack for black knights. I kind of like, why don't we turn our black knights into absolute murder machines? Perfect favor for grave guard, though. Ooh, that is pretty good. That is pretty good. Oh, I do, I do, I do just quite like the grave guard. Oh, I'm gonna go with grave guard. Or do I? <gasps> oh, I don't know. I mean, I could always, I could always get another. You know what? I'm gonna right. We'll, we'll go with this. But we could always get another White King and just put him in the army and get the other bonus as well. So you know. Okay, we'll give you Invocation of Nahek because more heals is never a bad choice. Let's get some something like that. Something there we go. That's fine. Okay. Okay, pretty happy with that. Let's see what old Mustachio does. So, he has recruited another guy. Can we... We could just go up there and attack. We could just go on the offensive. How much of a garrison does this have? I mean, it's not massive. If we just recruit some bats here... Just as like a little diversionary force, I reckon I, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna fucking go for it. We're gonna fucking go for it. So I'm gonna attack you, and I'm hoping that rather than retreat, you decide to fight. Come on, come here. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so they're gonna come in as reinforcements. You are the general. If we can kill the general, that will basically if we could just be waiting for them when they come on. We've got two. We've got two minutes to get up there. And basically pummel them as quickly as possible. I think it's doable. I think it's doable. Let's get them. I'm gonna take out that. What's it? What is he? An arch lector? He's an arch lector. We're gonna take out the arch lector. We're all. Jumping on him. We've got Manfred. We've got Otto. We've got Kev. We're just laying into him. As we race to engage Volkmar, who is coming onto the battlefield in a little under a minute. Our reinforcements will turn up at the roundabout at the same time, but of course they're going to march across the entire battlefield to reach where we're going to... So we're basically going to engage him in this, in this jungle over here. It's, tree, it's not a jungle, is it? It's tree line. It's like a palm tree. It's a palm tree forest. Either way, the important thing is... We're taking out this Arch Lector. He's proving to be quite resilient, though. Okay, we'll wait for reinforcements. Lovely. All right, we'll... We'll we'll send Kev to keep chasing him down. Meanwhile, Volkmar's turning up in 20 seconds, so we need to get... A, we're, we're quite far away. I was hoping to be a little bit closer, um, but it's going to take us a little while to get there. So Manfred, being he's on foot, will race over to reinforce our skelly line while Kevin chases down the Arch Lector. I mean, he's not going to be difficult to see because he's the only one with a bloody nightlight. Keep at it, Kev. You got this. I believe in you. Okay, here come the enemy reinforcements. Yeah, we are not in position. We do have the Black Knights. They are... They're in a... What the fuck is this? Divine power. Increased miscast chance. Well, that's not very nice, is it? Right, so here comes Volkmar and the garrison. That is a lot of guys. Um, so far, they don't quite outnumber us, though. So that's something to hold on to. But a bad disguised werewolf and his forces are going to have to book it across the entire battle map to reach Manfred and co. Um, now, he is he can move at speed 50, so he's pretty fast. Obviously, we've got the, the direwolves and two units of bats. They're pretty fast, so they'll be able to reach us fairly quickly. 
Got the mortars. The mortars are trying to attack the Vargeist, which is really not the best target for them. But you know what, guys? You do you. We're going to advance and engage the enemy. And then we're going to use our Black Knights to move in behind and attack the flanks, knock out that artillery. We're going to get Manfred to take on Vol... You know what? Manfred's actually at three levels higher than Volkmar. We have been... We've been doing some work. Black Knights moving in. We've got some free company militia in the way. We'll take them out first. Send them flying, but a few of the unit managed to get away. They did take a lot of damage, though. Fortunately, we do have some dire walls moving in to back us up as well. The dire walls going to be quite good at chasing down fleeing enemy units and finishing them off. And the Black Knights now moving in to engage those mortars. We do have some vampire. Are they vampire bats? No, they're fell bats. Fell bats charging in. There we go. That artillery is donezo. Manfred and Volkmar fighting in the midst of the forest. Now, Volkmar is a little bit surrounded here, and he's definitely losing this engagement. He's not really... I mean, he, he's kind of like a melee support character. He's not... He can't really go toe-to-toe -to -toe with melee characters, which Manfred is definitely more of a melee character than Volkmar is. Black Knight's now charging into the rear of the enemy army. Getting some good damage in there by the looks of it. What's Otto ever done to you? Oh, right. No, that's fair. Doing cycle charging, but it's tricky work because uh, there's a large blob. On the right flank, we've taken out his knights with the Vargeist. They have done very good work there. 64 kills already. 669... That's not how you work, read numbers. 698 kills. Sort of the sexiest number apart from the eight. That is the sky's werewolf has arrived, and we are now chasing Volkmar through the trees. That quite a few of his units in the centre have broken. And the knights are moving in to try and get as many kills as possible. Because the more of these guys we kill, the less of them are going to be left to deal with after the battle. What a nice, clean auto-resolve, if at all possible. Volkmar is trying to get away. Need to put a stop to that. How's, how's the thing? How's everything going here? Okay, so the Black Knight's doing quite well. Managing to cause some major issues on the enemy right flank. As we have several units now trying to flee. We just need to cut them down. They've got how many kills? 105 kills. That's not bad. The Dire Walls racking up kills as well as they tr hunt down fleeing enemy units. Really good at that. We get a final Spirit Leech on Volkmar. He flees the battlefield with under 800 hit points. Well, just over 800 hit points, in fact. But under 1,000. With Volkmar fleeing the battlefield, our knights now push back up into the trees. With the Band of the Skies Werewolf and Manfred as we go and charge the what's left of the enemy army right up the Jaxi. Even the Vargais getting in, and that is just absolute pandemonium. There are units fleeing all over the place. The forest is littered with the bodies of the living. Skellingtons from Bally Skies Werewolves Army is finally turning up. Kevin is, is racing back, having he had to chase that bloody Arch Lecter across the entire bloody map. Absolute scenes. I don't think he's got much health. There. I think he's, he's, he did actually get away somehow, but uh, that's fine. That's not a problem. Not the end of the world. Quite a few units fleeing off the battlefield, however. I think we've done a real number on them. I think we've, we've probably whittled down about half taking minimal damage in return with just a few flagellants left to mop up I think Volkmar may be finished which is a good start to the campaign
Okay, we took out a large chunk of them. It's actually not as many as I would have liked, but... Should be able to... Yeah, we'll just... We'll just don't resolve that one. Bosh. Any mini money? Ah, just occupy it. Okay, we've got no melee attack and melee defense for infantry units. I mean, I'll take it. Cult of Sigmar is down. Holy shit. What's that? Turn seven? It's not bad. Probably could have done it a little bit quicker. But never mind. And uh, three lovely skill points. What are we going to get? Sanguinary Experiments is going to be... F I mean, it's not bad. Um... I've, I've only got some Vargeist in my army at the moment, so I don't think that's super necessary right now. I'm going to go with this one, and Call of the Night, no. Was it Evil Souls? No. What gives us... What? Ah, oh, there we go. Waking Dead. More melee attack and armor. I mean, that's not bad. Let's go with Unliving Hope, because that's just going to beef up all of our infantry, right? Across the board, just make them better. I think we're going to do this as well. How how strong can you make Graveguard? Because they're already looking fairly scary. Also, we've got a nice big Grave Spot here. So we should be able to, with any luck, raise some... Maybe it's next turn it takes effect. I mean, either way, happy with that. Happy that we've taken out uh, Volkmar. I was going to call him Sigmar for a minute. Nope, Volkmar. Taken out Volkmar. Uh, let's get more money here, I think. I think more money is, is key, isn't it? More money, get the infrastructure. Upgrade, badly disguised wealth. He needs that. He basically, we just need to turn him into an absolute melee monster, because that's that's just how he rolls. That's how he rolls. You can replenish troops. That. What do you get? Okay, so you can upgrade crypt ghouls. You get crypt ghouls, or you get mongols. Not Mongols. Are they Mongols? Oh, they are Mongols. I mean, kind of... Kind of a weird shout, but okay. Uh, but I'm going to get you to replenish troops to start off with, I think. Because we could use that. Let's grab a couple of you. Then we need to, we need to do some upgrading. But that is going to have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.